What's going on y'all? I wanted to make a quick video recapping the Major Taylor and Friends Thursday evening group ride. It's a race, but it's a group ride, but it's really a race if you, you know what I'm talking about. This is a 32 mile out and back that we do every Thursday evening in Little Rock. In this uh, particular particular video, I cut to where the action starts. Um, and for me, this, uh, this ride is a really good workout. I have a couple of races as well as a few more fundos on the schedule this year. So I want to stay as sharp as possible. Uh, right here, we go into somewhat of a chain gang or a rotating pace line. And the purpose of this is to keep the speed high and consistent and evenly distribute the work amongst everyone. Uh, perhaps if you're ever in a position where you need to catch up to a break and no one person wants to do all the work, then a rotating pace line is probably the most practical approach to catch the break. It does take practice to get it right. It's definitely harder when the group is out of sync. Uh, some people don't know when to pull through and um, while others are accelerating too fast on the other side, causing you know the people behind them to have to accelerate and, and it gets pretty wonky. But if, if it's done correctly, the chain should be smooth and consistent. Uh, but uh, I will say that don't blow yourself up. The name of the game is survival. It is okay to skip a turn or sit off the back, pretend like you're hurting, whatever it takes uh, to not get yourself dropped, especially in a group that you know, just, just sit off the back if possible, if the uh, rotating pace line isn't working for you. this point i guess uh, you could say the lead pack is solidified there was uh, the inevitable lull in the pace and everyone kind of sat up um, but shortly after we got back back to work
we had a little attack up here. Still kept hitting us with body shots. I didn't want to close this, this one down, not by myself at least, so I waited to see who would come around me. And then there was another little surge, and then I decided to let others do the work. So I, I hop out the pace, the uh, line right here. And uh, for the most part, I'm just trying to be as, as conservative as possible and save some in the tank. Some days I actually question whether or not I'll have the legs to keep up, but when it's go time, they almost always show up. So that's a good thing. Um, but, but that's why it's good to ride with people stronger than you. You need that push if you want to get better. And in most cases, it just comes down to riding smart and, ju and just holding on a little while longer. And uh, you'll, you'll find that it's not as bad as, it's not as hard as you, you think. This off season, I'm going to really work on improving my FTP. Just being able to recover from repeated efforts will undoubtedly be easier if I'm using less overall energy to begin with. Um, right now, to make up for my short shortcomings in power, I rely heavily on my aerobic system, like pedaling with a higher cadence, that helps. Also, I try to tuck in and be as aero as possible to save some watts, and uh, also varying my pedaling techniques switching over the hamstring glute dominant sometimes whatever it takes to you know keep those pedals turning that's just you know some of the strategies i use to keep up
We have somewhat of a sketchy moment right here. There is a UPS truck turning right and a few of us blow the stop sign uh, right into his path. I'm not sure what was up with that. I do know that sometimes when you're tired and on the rivet, you do uncharacteristic things and mistakes on the bike can be catastrophic. But uh, given the experience of the riders, I don't think that was the case here. But uh, I saw that truck. I knew it was going to turn right because that UPS hub is on that street. But anyway, the truck let us go. We went on our way and uh, it's all good. No one got, got hurt, but it's just something we need to be careful of you know, when we're out here at this pace. So after that little sketchy section, um, nobody, I guess nobody, nobody's getting away. So we just kind of settled in to a nice little uh, temp tempo pace. So right here, I take a little pull. Uh, we have a nice little rhythm going, going on to that final stretch. 
um, after I take my pull, I go to take a drink of water and trying to get my bottle back into the cage and I almost slipped off the back. Uh, I didn't expect that little surge, but fortunately they sat up uh, before the long straight and I was able to hop back on. Um, but uh, yeah, once again, being able to recover quickly, that makes a difference between getting drop and, and making it to the finish. On the final stretch, I don't know if this airport or is it Bond Street, I can't remember. On this final stretch um, is basically a game of musical chairs. You don't want to get caught pulling when the attack comes. You know the attack is coming. But today, I guess I'm the lucky one. Steel hits us with a nice little attack right uh, as I pull through and I, I don't have a response to my leg. We still have about a half a mile on this road. So a full out sprint to catch back on to that bunch. It didn't make sense for me. Uh, I would definitely run out of gas for sure. Uh, and um, I noticed Jeff didn't go with them. So he's still on my wheel at this point. So I decided to kind of sacrifice myself a little bit uh, to try to keep him on terms with the, the break up the road. But he was good, he was good. Um, by the time he pulled through though, I was uh, pretty much toast and uh, I had uh, 10 miles to go to get back to my car so I couldn't completely empty the tank on this ride. At least that's the excuse I'm going with for now. But all in all, y'all, it was another fun day on the bike. Uh, if you ever in the area come see us on Thursday night, come out, ride with us. We have a good time. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this little recap. Stay healthy out there. Stay safe. And uh, I will catch you on the next one. Peace.